I was born ready. I start this project over at the miter saw station where I measure out the length of the overall height of these shelves. Then stacking the boards one on top of each other, I cut them to exact length. Next over at the table saw, I can cut out the inner side of the rabbit and then nibble away the rest of the rabbit one pass at a time as I don't have a proper dado stack to install in my table saw. Next, I can mark out the location of the inner dado to be cut out on the table saw as well. I'm cutting out both boards at the same time, four pieces in total, as this will be a modular kind of unit, which you can make as wide or as tall as you want, just changing a little bit of dimensions here and there. In an effort to reduce the chance of binding on the blade, I use a scrap piece of plywood between the fence, as I'm using the fence as an offset for both pieces of wood to be cut at the same time. Now that the two rabbits and the dado is complete, I can begin marking out my every inch and a half spacing for the floating shelves. I also mark with an X the side that is to be cut off. So the shelf I'm using is quarter inch MDF, and that's what I'm going to use as the spacer offset to cut both sides of this groove. Now, this turns out to be a mistake, as what I didn't account for was the thickness of the blade. So you'll see here I made a great mistake with the very first pass, and we'll just ignore that for the rest of this project. But you'll see from here on, I'm using a little scrap of, it's actually the belt from my CNC machine as a thickness offset between the blade and the thickness of that shelf. This gave me the appropriate spacing to make these slide in and out freely. From here, it's just simply cutting out dado after dado about a quarter inch wide to allow for movement of the quarter inch MDF, which isn't actually a quarter inch. It's more like 0 0.2 of an inch so there's a little bit of wiggle room in there which I actually wanted as I didn't want the shelves to be really hard to pull in and out. Next after all the dados are cut I can cut all the four pieces to the same width making sure that my table saw fence doesn't move. This will ensure uniformity between them and making this very modular. After they're cut I line them all up to make sure that everything lines up correctly and I mark one pair with a pencil to make sure they stay together. I can leave my fence set to the same width and rip up some other pieces of 3 quarter inch plywood. These are going to be the top, bottom, and middle shelf for the unit. Then over at the chop saw, I can cut them to the exact width they need to be. Back at the table saw with the fence still set at the same position for the 3 quarter inch plywood, I cut up strips of quarter inch MDF for the shelves. Then at the chop saw with a stop block, I can cut up all the individual shelves. Next I can begin final assembly by laying out the two pieces that go on the outside and putting glue on the rabbit joints and the 3 quarter inch dado joint in the middle. Then I can install the three pieces of 3 quarter inch that go between, then the top piece, and nail everything in place with inch and a quarter brad nails. Because my cuts weren't 100% 90, the middle dado was out by a little bit, so I used a clamp as a little bit of persuasion and nailed it in place with four brad nails. Off camera I did the exact same thing one more time giving me two complete units and then I began by putting glue down on the face of one of the units and then placing the other unit on top making sure to line up all the corners and then shot in a bunch of brad nails to hold everything in place while the glue sets. I lay out the completed unit on a piece of 8th inch hardboard. I trace out the edges and this will give me where I need to cut on the table saw to width and over the chop saw to the exact length. I then apply glue along the edges of the back piece and on the inside, lay out the 8th inch hardboard on top, and using my crown stapler apply a crown staple about every 3 inches or so. In the corners I make sure to line up everything square as the 8th inch hardboard will be sure to keep everything square even if it's slightly out of place. After checking the shelf's ability to slide in and out, the shelf is complete and can now be mounted to the wall with several 2 inch screws into a stud. Yeah, I'm looking good.